Okay, so you guys, before we get into today's video, let's talk about Dossier. So you guys know this is a brand I have been working with for a very long time. I have an amazing partnership with them. Always love to bring you new products from Dossier. So this one here is their Ambery Saffron, and it is inspired by this fragrance right here, which is Maison Francis Curtijon. Um, excuse me if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, but it's uber popular. I'm sure everybody knows what that is. So this is Dossier's version, you guys. And when I tell you Dossier's fragrances literally smell just like the real thing, Dossier was the reason why I ended up purchasing the Tom Ford Lost Cherry because I got to try it out with Dossier first. So per usual, one of my favorite things about Dossier is that it always comes with this like little travel size atomizer, which is absolutely perfect. So for the Ambre Saffron, you can see here the notes. So it lists the top, the middle, and the base notes who it's inspired by. It's got 18% concentration. And when I tell you guys, this stuff lasts, which crazy enough, just a little testimony. So you guys know that I bought the Lost Cherry from Tom Ford after getting Dossier's version. And I have said this before, the Dossier version lasts longer than the actual fragrance, you guys. When I tell you this scent will last you all day, it's absolutely amazing. This is a brand new bottle. I cannot wait to break this open and see what I think. And a little cool thing about this is that little atomizer that I always say is like a travel size is actually a sample. So something super cool about Dossier is that you can just pop open that sample and see if you like it. And if you don't like the scent, you can just send the full size bottle back. So it's super easy. Returns are free. No questions asked. I love Dossier. You guys, I'm a huge fan of their website. It's just really simple, very easy to use, very user friendly. So in my opinion, this is the perfect like fall fragrance, you guys. It's just very warm. It's very seductive and I am completely obsessed. I cannot wait to start wearing this one. Please do not forget to check out Dossier, you guys. I will list all of the good stuff down in the description box below. I also have a discount code, so I will be sure to list that down there as well. And go check out Dossier, they're amazing. And now I'm stargazing You thank for the star, but I've been scarred lately Taking keys, stealing cars, we just some lost babies Live too fast, now I'm grown Excuses in my head, I ain't thinking I'm wrong Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be one of my favorites to watch one of them. Obviously my first favorites is hauls, unboxings, um, but I also really love making these kind of videos and I love to watch them because I'm always interested to see like what you guys are liking and what you're wanting to buy and also getting inspo for things that I want to buy. <laughs> so today's video is going to be my complete fall luxury wish list. You guys, I've got a ton of stuff on here. I think the last time I counted, my list is right here. Um, that's why I'm looking off to the side. It was 16 items long, which I feel like for me is not bad. Um, but these are really items that just give me fall, okay? It's screaming fall. It's giving fall. <laughs> so you guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. But first, do not forget to click like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And if you aren't already, follow me on Instagram at Brie Car Amour all one word, all spelled out, and do not forget to hit that little bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video, which is always on Sundays and typically on Wednesdays and Thursdays because our baby sister Bianca is keeping us consistent. I literally have a spiel, like I always have to give her her shout out though because like Bianca is literally just amazing. Um, but you guys know that. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and hop into the video. I love you so much and I'll see you in a couple of days. Okay, so I've got my list, handwritten, it's special. Plus I have my iPad um, for picture references. We will be putting all the pictures of the items on screen. I promise we will not forget anything, fingers crossed. Oh, but before we hop into the video, I just wanna address, so I have a, my hair in a ponytail. I have not cut my hair. Um, it's just in a ponytail because Friday is get our hair done day. And so this is all we could come up with but she needed to film, so here we are in this cute little ponytail ensemble, okay? 
So, <laughs> but anyways, so let's go ahead and hop right into my luxury wish list for fall, you guys. <laughs> there's quite a few items on here, and actually there's gonna be 17 because I actually just added a item. Well, I didn't, I did in my head, but so maybe we'll just do that one first. So there is a Rolex. I don't know what it's called or anything like that, but we're definitely gonna put it on screen. So it's two-tone. Now it's kind of like defeats the purpose because I, my Rolex is a two-tone. I have got the stainless steel and gold um, Rolex and it is a, girl, and I was just telling somebody, it's a 30, it's a size 30, I believe. Anyways, don't let me get to lying. But anyways, the point of that story is I want another Rolex and the one that I have seen and really just love, it's kind of like a plain Jane. It is two-tone, so it's the stainless steel and the gold, but what makes it really special is that on the face, on the dial, the uh, Roman numerals for each of the hour hand is like in this gorgeous like pave diamond setting and it's just really, really beautiful. So yeah, that's definitely like number one on my list. Is it gonna happen? I really don't know because I have a Rolex already. I actually have two of them. One of them, it was my first Rolex that I got from my parents. I never actually wear it, it's very tiny. Um, but now this one, my second Rolex that my parents got me for Christmas, the Christmas I moved into my new home, um, I wear it all the time. So I don't really need a new watch. And I also am like really hesitant to pull the trigger because it's literally the exact same as this. Um, just a different face with no diamonds, so. We'll see. Oh, and per usual, just another disclaimer. If you guys know me and you know and you've been on my channel for a long time, then you know typically with my wish list, like typically when by the time I put my wish list out there, I've only I've already purchased like half of the items. So there's that. Anyways, okay, moving right along. So let's just talk about Fendi. Girls and guys. Um, Fendi is having a whole moment right now. Like Fendi is really snapping. So I'm really impressed by their fall collection. So it is the Fendi first collection and there are two bags that I um, am in love with. So one is the Fendi first shearling bag and they're both in the size small. Um, it's like in this nudie pink color and then also in the mink obsessed. And then of course, if I'm gonna get two Fendi bags or one Fendi bag, I need the matching heels. And so they have them in the mink and then they also have them in the shearling. So I could just be, you know, heels matching my bag and just giving it to the girls. Oh, the sun, it's, it's giving overcast right now. So if the lighting is like acting funny, I apologize in advance, it's not my fault, it's mother nature. Okay, so next one on my list, it's actually a pair of Louboutins, which you guys, I used to love Louboutins. Louboutin? Louboutin? Don't come for me, whoever. Um, I used to love them when I was actually in like undergrad. I literally had every pair you could think of. And I think now my collection is down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe seven or eight pairs. Um, I can't remember. So I really want to get these. They are the So Kate Christian Louboutins. Why am I not able to speak? The So Kate Christ Christian Louboutins. Why does it feel like it's not Louboutin? I feel like it's Louboutin. Anyways, these ones. And they're in this like ruby, transparent red color, you guys. I just think they scream fall. I think they're so beautiful. They're giving me like Cinderella. And I also feel like they're very unique. So shout out to you, CL. We're just gonna say CL. Um, next, obviously, what would a wish list from me be without a Dior book tote? So let's talk about this for a second. So you guys know, I have an extensive Dior book tote collection. I think right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lie. One, two. Oh gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, no, I have seven of them. I didn't lie. Um, which I don't think is extensive, but I guess it just depends on who you're asking. Um, it's not like I have 50 of them or something. However, I do have room on my shelf for one more book tote. Um, and I need to decide which one I want. So right now there are two in my mind. So one is the, Christ <laughs> the Christian Dior book tote in the small size. I think this was fall, winter 20, 2021. It's in the leopard print. And then also this is a newer collection. I don't know if it's fall, winter 2021. I'll pop it up here too, but it is the Dior. I think it's like called the horoscope. It's covered in like 
all of the star signs so i call it the horoscope that's probably not what it's called but yeah so these are the two that i'm looking at i don't know i think my dilemma with the book tote is i literally only have one i only have room on my shelf for one more book tote and i'm like if i'm not like crazy over it then i think it makes more sense to just leave the space empty and wait but the empty space is also really driving me crazy so i don't know okay so moving right along <laughs> okay so moving right along i don't know why i can't talk today um i know usually in my videos i can't talk but like today it's like extra um but anyways this is actually not like a handbag or like a luxury pair of shoes um my boob is itching sorry <laughs> okay Bianca you know what to do girl no! <laughs> um this is it is the um Venus at floor it is their rose box so they recently just came out with a new collection it is their ombre collection I think these colors are so pretty for fall but why I really like it is because of the box um usually with these flower boxes or rose boxes I'm not able to find one that would suit like my decor um, downstairs and downstairs is where I really want a flower box I have two of them upstairs from Rose Forever New York um, but this would be my first one from Venus at Fleur very pricey um, so the new collection just screams fall and the box colors come in like gray and like neutral and beige so I feel like it would go in my downstairs so really excited about that that's definitely on my list okay so next up you guys I have a book, book tote obsession, but apparently I also have a Hermes Kelly obsession as well. So I just got myself a new Kelly for my birthday. She's 25. She's Epson. I'll just pop her up here just because she's so cute. Um, she is a blue parody and she's so gorgeous. However, I have always wanted a Kelly in a neutral color as well. I'm one of those people who believes if you're going to be buying Hermes Kellys or Birkins, like get them in beautiful colors. Like as in like poppy bold bright colors like you do not need to buy one that's like black i mean you know i mean to each his own but i just i don't i wouldn't however um the two that i'm eyeing right now so i'll put them both right here one is the kelly um i would prefer it in a size 28 and the color etane or etan it's this lovely gray color very warm um i would love it in a rose gold hardware and i think i have seen it and then the other one of course is a Kelly, I would love it in a 25 and Barina or Barinia leather, however you say it, Barinia leather. Um, so it's this gorgeous gold color, but it's not the typical Hermes gold that everyone knows. Um, and then with the silver hardware, dream, dream. Okay, let's talk about Chanel 21A collection. Okay, so yeah they came out with this amazing toffee color and i have the 21p caramel 19 bag um gonna pop it right there but so then when i first saw this toffee color and i do this often i'll see something like a rendering or even like a real picture and i'm like Ugh, i don't like that and i'll even like vocalize it like i commented on somebody's pictures and was like doesn't this look eerily similar to 21p um caramel like not feeling it it looks orange well now i'm obsessed with it and i have to have it so i want everything um <laughs> the three that i'm eyeing are the cocoa handle in the 21a toffee color and caviar the boy bag in the small and caviar all with like gold hardware like how amazing i haven't had a boy i've had a new boy in a long time it's time um, and then of course the medium flap in the toffee color. Now they did make a 19 flat bag in that toffee. However, like I said, I have the caramel and I just feel like it, it wouldn't make sense. And I'm saying this now, I might eat my words later and pop up on you with the Chanel 19 bag and toffee. But as of right now, no. So those are my three ones. I'm definitely not gonna get all three of them, but one of them, I have to have a piece from that 21A toffee collection. Okay, so in keeping with Chanel, you guys, I have fallen in love with this Duvill tote right here. So, little background, I already have, and I haven't, you guys know this, I've talked about this in previous videos, I have not purchased anything from Chanel in a very long time. Well, it had been a long time since I had purchased anything from Chanel, and then I bought my 
Um, but she was pre-loved my medium flap in the lilac color, which we love. 19S, shout out to you. Um, and then I bought my Duville in the raffia, um, the straw. It's like the black and the gold. I'll put it right here to go with me to Italy. Great travel bag. And then I saw this one. And so it is in this like gorgeous, it's a black. And I think this is like a shearling or a teddy on the letters, but the letters are multicolor. Like I literally am obsessed with it. This is definitely to me like a holy grail item. So definitely on my wish list for fall. Plus it's shearling and it's giving all the fall vibes. Shearling for whatever, don't come for me. Um, but next up is something quite different for me. So I actually have a bag on the way from this brand. It's my first and only ever purchase from this brand. Pretty exciting. Um, of course, I had to search high and low for it pre-loved because by the time I saw it and wanted it, it was gone. Um, but that's a story for another day because that unboxing will be coming soon. But so it is the Balenciaga Hourglass bag, which is very popular. I know everybody and their mother has it, but it's in this amazing, like, I don't know if it's shearling. I don't know what type of fur this is. Um, I'll make sure to pop up somewhere, pop it somewhere, but it's in this beautiful nude color with the gold hardware. It's giving life. Bianca is not a fan of like fur bags. She just thinks they're accidents waiting to happen, but I love it. I need it. I have to have it. Quick, how do you wash a fur bag? Trick question. The answer is you don't. You get it dirty, it's over. Thousands of dollars down the drain. And for what? So definitely on my list. Um, and then the last two, it's crazy that we're already at the end, but the last two things on my list. Um, so one is this amazing bag from Prada. So it is the Prada Clio bag. However, it is covered in satin and Swarovski crystal. So it comes in a black. It also comes in a pink. I feel like for fall, definitely the black is more appropriate. Yes, I do have the same bag in the hobo or re-edition style. Um, I'll put it right there, <laughs> but I need it in the Clio. Like I don't own a Clio. I'm not a big fan of the Clio in any other color except for the lilac, of course. You know, I love lavender, um, but this one is exquisite. It's also really expensive, but it's exquisite. Okay, so last but certainly not least, we are ending off my luxury with list for fall with Chanel. So 21K, don't ask me what the letters stand for. I'm sure 21 is for the year, but K, girl, what? Who is K? 21 FW, fall winter, you know, anyways, um, 21K. And actually I'm saying 21K, but I'm actually not sure. Um, I saw this posted on a personal shopper's IG stories. And I'll put it right here. It is this lovely dark gray. It's not a charcoal, but it's a dark gray with gold hardware. I think I would like it in the jumbo. I'm ready for another jumbo. Caviar leather, it's dreamy for fall. <laughs> well, you guys, there you have it. It is my fall luxury wish list for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment down below what's on your wish list for fall. And then also, if you want to take a guess and guess at which items I've already got on the way, OTW. I love to see if we're on the same page, you know. Oh, and did you guys notice my pumpkin spice candle going in the background? Like, I'm trying to give y'all fall aesthetic Instagram influencer vibes. Is it working? <laughs> well, anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I love you so, so much. Thank you for all the love and support, and I'll see you in a couple of days. And, okay now, uh, 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 uh.